back to it. Real talk. But only a few make it out. Yeah. Niggas try hoop their way out. Got through the hoops in the drought. Real talk. I don't care if she cute, put her out. Come on. Niggas suck all that dick to get clout. Yeah. She got mad, we can't kiss in the mouth. Yeah. Niggas park up and sit on your house. Yeah. Niggas aiming that shit at your house. Yeah. Bullets going through bricks at your house. Ah. Everything is legit out my mouth. Come on. Mom wonder a crib down south. I'ma get it, ain't tripping, no doubt. Let's go. Push the button, car started, I'm out. I'm out. They were Barney's, got clothes, I was hot. Let's go. I fell back from up town, it got hot. Uh. I stopped falling for bitches that stops. Come on. You can't call on them when you get popped. Uh-huh. You can't play with the streets, get a clock. I can't lay with you after I pop. I get made back to back and it pop. In the Trying to say, but I can't, cause I Shot. Niggas raining on niggas with shots. That's our team, we can't stop for the cops. I'm out. This for E every Friday with shots. If the weed cheap, I ain't gon' cop. Yeah. I was knee deep, couldn't get out. For real. A lot of seeks, I wear rain out. It ain't. I ain't weak, I figured it out. I did. If it's beef, they airing it out. It out. It out. It out. Sometimes the streets be wearing me out. Sometimes the music be wearing me out. All of this shooting, they clearing it out. Come on now. It's wearing me out. Sometimes the streets be wearing me out. Sometimes the music be wearing me out. All of this shooting, they clearing it out. Come on now. It's wearing me out. It's wearing me out. Mm-hmm. It's wearing me out. It's wearing me out. Well, uh, that's core, right? That was core. But the thing about core, he said something a little interesting that had me buggy. He said, if it's cheap, I'm not going to buy it. The weed, I, that don't make no sense. Core, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't <laughs> smoke. I don't smoke, but core, I'm, if it's cheap, you're supposed to buy it. That's no, a good thing. Uh, you, you don't smoke Why wouldn't you buy weed? that? Why wouldn't you buy that? Come on, dog. Who wants cheap weed? Man, who That's wants a hookup. Weed? Like he, that I'm like, whoa, that part ain't make no sense. Like, like I'm like, you, you, come on, Corey, you a re- like, like you, like you want. That's like a. Come Let me up. tell you something. Oh, oh, you got thing, cheap. Hold Let on. me tell you something. There's a certain thing. Is designer weed. Niggas don't like smoking regular weed. My whole thing on. is, if you telling me, if you listen, if you telling me, I got it for three dollars. Why would I pay five dollars? I'm who a, the fuck buying three dollars worth of weed. <laughs> It's five dollars. You buying a Nick? You come to get a no, Nick. No, niggas don't sell I Nick's. Three dollars. <laughs> you, like, you been locked up too. Niggas don't sell listen, Nick's. You like? You like? You like? I got it for three dollars. Oh, that's a come up. <laughs> that mean that mean the two you listen. That mean you can say nigga listen. Nigga told you said niggas got Nick's. <laughs> listen, if he got them for three dollars, you like damn hope. I could get three for ten. I was ready to buy two. But <laughs> come up. You, ain't you know what I mean? So niggas so Core don't have it. Ain't selling Nick's no more. Niggas, if niggas out here selling Nick's. They gotta reevaluate their life, man. No, they do. They they they're still popping out here. I don't know what you're talking about. They're still oh, dudes. Niggas got to evaluate. I don't life. know people, but I know people that know people that probably. I that know sell Knicks. Yeah, they ain't gonna never die. Why would that? That's that's the history of the game. That's this dude. But you're now tuned into me 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 you, let him slide. Let him. What I tell you, not ass nigga. Look at it. He's the bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it? Activate my you feet. See you see the niggas here. You see that? <laughs> bitch ass nigga thought I, I was going to slap I don't want to put my hands on you. That's all I'm saying. Thought I don't want to put my hands on And this million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Springfield Hyundai. One thing about Springfield Hyundai is, listen, <laughs> I'm just I'm just not going to. I'm going to just say this. A lot of people been going to the back door. They've been going out that back door, man. <laughs> Bobby been introducing people to the back door. They've been going in there. Hey, where back door Bobby? He hook him up. People was, I'm talking about so many people was getting hooked up with Springfield Hyundai. They're blessing people. And, and you know what? We ready to give away a car. Springfield Hyundai, we were, you know, I'm going to go up there, give away a car real quick, hook, hook, hook somebody up that's really in need, really in need of this car. Springfield Hyundai going to hook him up. Listen, and once again, I say, Springfield Hyundai. They don't approve people. They approve credit. So if you go in there, your credit is all jammed. What? They don't approve what? credit. They approve well, come people. Come on, you man. Oh, I messed it up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. They don't approve people. They approve credit. They don't approve no. credit. They approve people. <laughs> y'all, y'all understand what he's trying yep. to say. <laughs> yep. Well, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying. I ain't saying what I'm saying that you think I'm saying, but if you think I'm saying what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. They don't approve credit. They approve people, but that's another story. I know this guy that went in there, his credit score was like a, uh, 41. <laughs> I said, hold up. I should credit score. He said, no, I missed the zero. It was 410. I said, that's still fucked up. <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, like, they gave you a car. I said, listen, you lucky Springfield Hyundai hooking you up because if you came to Wallow's Hyundai, you'd be in trouble. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be walking. You'll be walking away from Wallow's Hyundai. You won't be coming in there and it ain't, it's only going to be front doors in my spot. Hi, I'm Wild Lozanda. You want a car? You got a uh, you got an eight ten uh, credit score? Okay, you get the car. Get whatever you want. Anything under the eight ten, you ain't coming up out of it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I, no, I'm not playing no games. I can't, I can't play. <laughs> I'm not like backdoor Bobby. Now. They like introducing people to the back door. That's another story. But one thing about Springfield Honda, they're going to hook you up. Listen, they're going to work. They're going to help you build your credit up. They're going to give you listen. But kid, please, when you walk in there, have have a reasonable outlook of what you're trying to get. Don't go in there telling me I want to I want a uh, Bentley. I want a jet. Je- yeah. Your credit scores say walking. That's what your credit scores say. They don't say that. So, so they'll hit them up. They're going to take care of you. 844 9 drive now, Springfield Hyundai. Let's get into million dollars worth of game. Let's get into million dollars worth of game. All right. So, you know, 
I was sitting back, and I'll be going through my DMs, and I get a shitload of DMs from women. Oh, Gilly, my, my man won't do nothing. And then, and then, and then, niggas ain't shit. All my nigga do is sit around and do it. And I, I was just thinking, and I was like, all these women in my DM complaining. But most of them are crippling niggas. Hmm? What you mean? Most of them are mama wives. Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is a free call from Cheers. It's my old Sally. That's your old Sally? Yeah. FCI Cole Township. This is a call from Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution. Cole Township. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, I thank you for using security. You may start the conversation now. Sally, what's up, baby? What's up, I'm hey, hey, listen, I'm right here recording a podcast right now. I got you all on the, on the, on the podcast. Listen, man, for everybody, this is my old Sully Chip, Charlie Chips from Uptown. What's going on, baby? Hey, man, what's up, Richard? Oh, good, listen, I got I got my nut-ass cousin, Gilly, right here. He probably want to ask you some questions about when we were cellmates here. Listen, go ahead. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> yeah, what's up? All right. First of all, I want to. I want to. I want to. I just want uh, just the main question. Everybody want to know who was the nigga? What was the nigga name that Rip Wallow no. jump off in the cell? <laughs> Come on, man. Rip the jump off. I don't know. Anybody know? Come on, come on, Anybody, Charlie. Hey, Charlie, what was the nigga hey, name hey, Rip this jump off in the cell? Huh, Charlie? Ain't nobody ripping jump off. See, 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 it's uh, out there, everybody. Oh, no, no, no. He, he lied on Charlie me. Lied, Charlie lied. Okay, Charlie. <laughs> Yo. Why they call you Charlie Chips? It ain't cause a nigga took your chips, is it? Oh man. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> he wanna have a stab off with Gilly. No, but hold up, hold up, let me tell you something. Hey, hey Chip, tell these boys my I was the chef up north, man. Hey, you was the chef. I was the chef. I told you, man. man. I used to make, listen, I used to make. Listen, I used to make them unbelievable, uh, unbelievable meals up there, man. We was making it happen, man. Yeah. I was the chef. I, yeah, I was being there. Yeah. Listen, I used to hook it up, beans and rice. Them, ra- yo, you remember I used to make them wraps, them uh, them seafood wraps we used to make doing a big game. Man, tell Charlie I'm just fucking with him for he hang up. Man. No, Charlie ain't gonna hang up. He <laughs> the cool. fuck type of time Gilly was on, man. <laughs> no, no he, that nigga crazy, man. <laughs> but listen, listen. Let me finish this joint. Hit me back up later. All right. All right. Hit me up, homie. All right. Yeah, but listen, yo, oh, you planned that phone call so you could get exonerated of charges that uh, Gil put on you. He think he should call me right at nine twenty. Go ahead. There we <laughs> hey, listen, right? But there's a lot of mama wives out here, man. Mama wives, explain that. I mean, they cook, they clean for the nigga, they provide a nigga with a car, they provide a nigga with shelter, they pay a nigga's phone bill. They pay for a nigga haircut. Yeah, that's crazy when you can't pick your own haircut or hey, they cut your motherfucking hey, phone off. They supply a nigga with drugs. Hold, 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 hold like, let's be for real. A lot of women out here is playing the mama role listen, as listen. well. They you Nobody, don't know if the bitch is his mama or the or, or she is woman. You know, but there ain't no women then, out here then, paying for no yeah, haircut. Well, you crazy haircut, as shit. Man. Uh, a they, fucking what, haircut? Well, let me tell you something. These bitches. A haircut? Let me tell you something. They take they take their motherfucking kids to the motherfucking barbershop. They sit the motherfucking seat, you know, with the, the little seat stool right there. He sit the up on it, chair. the booster chair. Soon as he get the fuck done, she sit his goofy ass right in the booster chair. Go ahead, put him on there too. Well, I got these because you, I bet you, you're one of the kids too. I gotta pay for your shit too. Can he pick his cut? Fuck is wrong. Yeah, niggas pick they cuts. <laughs> niggas pick they cuts. They drugs. Then, then let me tell you something, dog. The, I'm not. I'm not. The, listen, I'm not. It's mama wives all across the fucking country. That's handicapping niggas to not do nothing. Yeah, because they be buying them video games like 2K no, and Madden. Don't. No, they don't. Yes, you they do. Come on, yes, man. they that's, do. That's for the kid. What the kids gonna play? But with? The, pff, nigga, what you mean? What the kids gonna play with? That's his. Oh, he hold the TV. Tell me, hold, you mean to tell me it's women out here, right? That got a grown ass man. Grown ass man. That's supposed to be the man that's slaying a sprainer. Mm-hmm. She's getting his hair cut. Yep. She's buying him video games. Yes. She's buying him Reggie in forties. And he's playing she's the game while she's at work. She. He's driving a car. Yes. He drops her off. Like and she's she's financing this whole program. Mom, Everything. What, what is a what is a true mama wife package? A true mama wife package is, and they really not married. You, no, no, just no, no, no. It, it, You get the car. This the this the package. You get the car. Mm-hmm. She give you a couple dollars at least your pockets because you broke. So you need some gas money. 
You need some. You need. You need your. You need your little dub or your A for the day. She lays you with that. You feel me? Then she might smoke too sometimes. So she smoke with you when she get off. She need. You know what I'm saying? She she lays you with your video games. She pay for your haircuts. She lays your wardrobe. See, let me tell you something. A lot of women be out here be talking about niggas ain't shit. Niggas. Um. You made them that way. But hold on, hold on, hold on. You handicapped the nigga. What, what is he well, doing? If, if, what if is a he nigga doing? Ain't gotta, if a nigga ain't got to do nothing and be nothing in life, if a nigga got a bum mentality and he ain't got to do nothing and be nothing in life and you don't, you handicap him to not do nothing or be nothing in life, why the fuck would he ever try? So you mean to tell me he don't work into that? Come on, man. You know, of course, niggas got their little bullshit package, but they ain't making no more money. They ain't making no money. You know, nigga, I go get his little script of thirties every month that he, you know, he lied when he got shot in the head, and he, he's now he need thirties. You know, you know how it go, man. Niggas come up with all types of schemes, man. You feel what I'm saying? But the end of the day is a gang of mama wives out here. You feel me? How many? That, how, how many you think? The percentage. The percentage. The percentage in each, like, like, all right. So out of hundred percent of relationships, it's like I think it's like, people. it's like eight million people. No, I a, think out of hundred percent of relationships, it's like. 24% of them is mama wives. Damn. Did you fucking kidding me? Yes. Yeah, but because let me tell you something. A lot of women are insecure. Oh, let's do the commercial. Well, well, are you a mama wife? Do you take care of your man? Mm. Do you buy him Reggie? Mm. Do you make sure he get the juicy juices? Mm. Do you go to GameStop and make sure he have a game? Mm. Do you make sure you iron his clothes? Do he, do he drive your car? Mm. Do he eat up all the food and you don't say nothing? Mm. He's not bringing no income in? Mm. If, if you follow... To any of these things that I just mentioned, you're a mama wife. And if you would like to join the Mama Wife Association of America, call 1 800 Mama Wife. Dumb bitch. Well, <laughs> 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 hey, uh, on some real shit, you know how many women out here, honestly, <coughs> are insecure and they don't want a nigga unless a nigga got to depend on them. Because a lot of women, don't believe in themselves enough to think they good enough. Mm-hmm. Do you truly believe that? I truly believe that a lot of women... What at, percentage at, out of 100? I don't know, but a lot of women inside be facing a lot of demons that they fighting. They don't feel good about themselves for whatever reason. You got women that be dropped dead gorgeous that be some of the most insecure yeah. women on planet Earth. Yeah, how your last four boyfriends is all like that. Right. You looking for them type niggas. Right. <laughs> Right. So at Your the end of the day, four, <laughs> right. four relationships. Right. So at the end of the day, a lot of women, they they don't want a nigga unless a nigga got to depend on them. See, because they feel like if you got anything of your own, you could just up and leave whenever. I'm not good enough for you to love me. So if you depend on me, then it's you need me. Mm. So I feel like I feel like you need me. You you won't leave. No no. no. Some bitches be like, wait, you got you got your own shit. So, so listen, how many haircuts do a uh, how many haircuts do a person with hair get in a, in a year? I don't know. I, we don't know. Now. A cut I mean, a week. Cut a week. Eighty two weeks. So she got to pay for fifty two hair. How much is a haircut? Or maybe she might got to pay for twenty seven. Like twenty five. Twenty six of them. How much is a haircut these days? Twenty dollars. How much? Twenty dollars. Damn, they still twenty. I thought it was twenty dollars when I'm with the. They twenty. I thought it was like forty. I don't know. When you I went to got, jail, I, I, it I, was like ten dollars plus. Nigga, a when tip. you went to jail, they was six fifty. <laughs> no, 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 I knew, no, 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 no. I knew a boy that did them in the basement for five. He was uh, a legend. Yeah, me too. I know Out a nigga the did them in the project. Nobody, I know, nobody I, went to barbershop. I know, shop I know a nigga did them on Fish Street down Fish Street project. You wash your hair before you come. Yo, man, uh, wash your hair before you come. But away. that's the reality of it. A lot of women don't want niggas that's doing nothing. Yeah, they they want a nigga that gotta depend on them because they feel like I ain't good enough. What percent though? I'm trying to get a percentage. I don't know the percentages, but I know it's a lot of them out there. And it's fucked up. So a lot of you women got to tighten up. And you got to understand you only you only attract the type of energy that you're bringing in. You feel me? If you, if you, if you got negative thoughts, then you bring in a negative energy. You bringing in all these negative niggas who you got to take care of. Like, how many times you going to be a, a super stupid stepping stone? <laughs> bitch, how many times you going to be the four S's? Huh? Super stupid stepping stone, huh, bitch? <laughs> like, That's deep. Exactly. Ain't nothing, let me tell you, there's a lot of super, super stepping stones out this motherfucker. Don't ever get that tangled and twisted. And, and them bitches is in that position because that's what they want to be. 52 so, haircuts. So, listen, some women get tricked, though. How mm. long did this really but last? But then some bitches get tricked 11 times. Times in a row. Uh, how, how long, yeah. No, but how long do that do a uh, mama-wife relationship last? With that, Yo, with that? sometimes. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, nigga. So some, you ain't got to work Some forever? niggas is a bum forever. Yup. Like, what the fuck you mean? 
All right. Speaking of this is this is good because you wanted to bring up your old celly chip, but right. potato chip, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't there was Charlie his name with it? Charlie Chip. Charlie Chip. Charlie, Charlie Potato Chip. <laughs> he's the calling him. He's the barbecue he him in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He ain't say no. He just smiled and laughed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Being over it. But go ahead. Yeah, they, yeah, they raped Charlie. Get the man. fuck out of <laughs> here. Go ahead. I was talking to your Sally Haas, your real Sally. Haas you is lying. No, 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 lying. Who you did the most time with. Haas a liar. You did the most time Haas with Haas. Haas. We talked for about an hour. You know how much shit I found out on Wild. Why are you calling people? Like, what like, type of weird shit does you want? No, you know how much. Haas lied on me. You know I, how much I know shit. he lied on me. He lied on me. He said, dog, Wallow had 30 jobs in jail. He did say you was the cook. I did. Have, said, I did have jobs. I, I he said you was jobs. the chef up front. north. I worked in the uh, the uh, the, uh, the the bake shop. I worked in the, uh, <laughs> the 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 clothing exchange. Yeah, and I worked. You know what I mean? And I worked in the warehouse. So I had like a couple. He jobs. said when you was about ten years in, you was a pimp in jail. Get the fuck out! What? Get the fuck! Yo, come on, man. Come on, come on. Nigga said you was in there selling boy butt, dog. Yo, come oh, on, man. Yo, you making shit listen, up now. Listen. Y'all making shit no. up. He said that, Gil? No, no, y'all making shit listen, up. Listen, I'll call Haas right now. He said, <laughs> listen. He said, Wallow had two niggas. He said he never fucked with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, what the fuck duh, is you talking about? No, listen. No, because no, no, you listen, making this listen, shit up. You were selling listen, smut. You was listen, in the listen, sex listen, industry listen, in jail. Listen, he's he's did, he already lying. said that, right? Yeah, you was listen, in the sex lying. industry. I said, nigga, I said, listen, you said, you know, Wallow mouthpiece is ridiculous. He talked these two <laughs> Get the fuck homosexuals Get the fuck out into out letting him Get the pimp fuck them for commissary. Listen. So I said, I what? Even, I know y'all listen, ain't paying this shit listen, no attention. Listen, listen. He lied on, on me, baby. He lied on me. He lied on me. He didn't tell you that shit like that. So, he didn't tell you that. I ain't tell you no bullshit. So, I told you this so, bullshit. So who RM? Get the fuck. I don't know who that means. You don't know who RM is. No, you lied on who? me. Who? I don't know. What? What? He's lying on me. Oh, what? 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 You don't know I don't who, even know what he about to say. Ricky Minaj. Get the fuck out of here. You don't know who RM is. I don't get the fuck out of here. Come on, Gus. Cause you lying Duh, on me, you yo. He's it. fucking lying, damn. Duh, I don't know where he get this shit from. Listen, you lying. listen, <laughs> Ricky Minaj. <laughs> Yo, yo, where we get this shit from? Listen, listen, listen. Yo, you lying? He had, he was, he had, he had a, he had a, he had a hoe in there named Ricky Minaj. Oh, get the fuck out of here, man. And come on. You don't, you don't he lied look, on me. Are you, on that, are you about to come clean or what, man? I'm come clean on what? He fucking lied. This shit, <laughs> hey. this shit, I don't know how he make this hey. shit up. Hey. I was Duh. a pimp in jail. Duh. Come you, on, man. You wasn't in there selling boy butt? Get the kid out of here, man. You Duh. lied to me. You fucking lied to me. You don't know he on say? What? <laughs> he on say? You don't, you don't know he on say? <laughs> You gonna say yo, he's you, fucking like yo, dog. You gonna say yo, act like yo no? He on say yeah, he on yeah. say. Get the fuck. All, all the single niggas. All the single niggas. Oh 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 man, yo, you tripping, man? He tripping, man? He. If you like it, do you show the put a ring on it? Yo, 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 listen. Yo, you out of pocket, man. You don't know Ricky Minaj and Yonsei. You lying on me. You and Haas. Dog. The straight line. Make me call Haas. So no, no, seriously. Seriously. Was listen, it a lucrative business? Listen, if he told you that, you he really did. believe so something like that. He told me multiple jobs. He told me you was a motherfucking, you was also the captain of the wrestling team. Man, ain't a fucking wrestling team. I was the captain of the wrestling team. You wrestling team in jail. Yeah, not in jail. Yes, he was the captain of the wrestling team in jail. Ain't no wrestling team in jail. Ain't no fucking wrestling. How it look like dudes wrestling in jail? Ain't no You was the captain of the wrestling team. Ain't no wrestling. And you know what his alias was? Stop, dog. Guess what his alias was up in jail. Fucking lying. Come on. You ain't lying. Guess what his alias was? What? Dick Flair. Yo, you put smut on my nigga used to be all in the cell. Wow. You put smut on my nigga. <laughs> listen, I'm telling listen, I ain't put no fucking smut on your name. I'm telling you what Haas told me, dog. I'm telling you what Haas told me, dog. Haas is a liar, man. If Haas told you this shit, listen. He's a liar, man. And yeah, one more one more joint. He, he told me. I ain't had no, listen, uh, listen. I had told you my jobs. No, listen, you, uh, all them jobs too. This was the most disturbing joint, though. This dude ain't lie on me. Out of all three of the job, out of all three of the jobs he told me about, he told me about the gang jobs. He told me about the nigga working with some clothes shit. He said nigga had a hundred jobs, literally. But when he told me, come on over, you ready? He lying on me, y'all. He ready lying on me. Wallow was a prison lifeguard. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is a prison? I lifeguard? mean, even if there was, he's swimming. He making sure he's saving no, his no, no, brothers. No, 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 no. no. Ain't no fucking no, no, no. pool in jail. No. What the fuck you mean a lifeguard, man? 
in the showers. Come, come on, guy. I worked in the showers. I cleaned yeah. the showers. I just cleaned the showers no, in the shower. That, that nigga said he used to stand in the showers and make sure don't nobody drown. Come on, They God. said if a nigga if a nigga let water run over his face too much while low right there, you cool? Hey, listen. <laughs> Yo, get the fight. Come on, buddy. Hey, listen. I came down the shower when the listen, shower was done. Listen. After the shower listen, was over, said, I ain't never and, coming and to listen, work. And listen. Because you used to show up to work listen, early. And listen. You used to show up early. And it was at Dallas the Pink Palace. Mm. No, listen, man. Listen. Nigga was a prison lifeguard. They no, said, we, they said you. How you gonna be a lifeguard to prison? <laughs> they said, it ain't no pool. In the showers. No, I was a shower. Nigga was doing mouth to dick resuscitation. And they said, though, <laughs> one of the boys, the, the, uh, one of the boys had a seizure in the shower and fell out while Odin no, resuscitated. No, 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 no. Did you? That's not. That's not. But what how happened. you? But no. On some real listen, shit. Though, listen. How you clean showers in prison? You just come through and squeeze niggas you, dropping man. all types no, of they shit. Not, on no, they the, not. Oh no, they God not. No, they not. Listen, it's a big listen in prison. Listen, it's a big shower room. They in the old in the penitentiaries, not in the new. The new ones, you in the shower by yourself. But in the penitentiary, which is Dallas, greatest for West, them penitentiaries, it's a a shower room where it's a big room, and they just got shower heads and a bunch of people just walk up in there, John. So after the shower was over. You just you know scrub it down. You got to scrub it. You scrub it down and squeeze it down. That's it. And I'm so out you, of there. So, so you was you was police in the showers. I was a police. How I'm police? I go after everybody leaving. You I'm just, police in the showers. You just standing in the showers watching niggas just. No, I'm not standing there. I'm not there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not there when it when everything goes down. Somebody did have a little seizure there. This and third, but they ain't had nothing to do with me. They said you. you they said that you brought him back to. to no, I didn't. Life. No, I didn't. I ain't. I ain't do nothing. To, you I, didn't do mouth to mouth. No, I didn't. No. Um, that, why, why would hey, I do listen, that? Listen, I'm all You know, my cousin is a prison guard, was up there with Wallow. He said, the boy fell out of the showers. When they got in the showers, boy was asshole naked, <laughs> laying in Wallow arms, and <laughs> Wallow was screaming, <laughs> Get me out! Get out! <laughs> you was holding him like Ricky. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. was asshole dick balls anyway. <laughs> Wallow, they, Get out! Get out! <laughs> They ain't never happened. They tell me, stay with me, Chino. Stay with me, Chino. <laughs> Chino, stay with me. <laughs> and I'm just on the ground. And he in the raw. Yeah. He was, he, he, that's what I heard. Y'all was I, both listen. naked. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is it is it rules and relationship beefing? What you mean? Like things that would be a violation? I can understand no, something. No. I can understand a question like that. Like, like, like if you beefing, right? Mm -hmm. Like is like all right we argued today like is it like bitch no i don't want you to cook for me like don't she call me today you. like like is it rules to damn, relationship beef about, damn they might lace your food up like because i'm a petty nah. nigga i'm a petty nigga i argue with two it's like i don't even expect no dinner that night <laughs> like i leave out the house fuck you too <laughs> like me and two say some treacherous shit so, you yeah. know what's crazy <laughs> like when i first came home mm -hmm. for a while i just was always in a relationship because i'm always in the house and then all the arguments or whatever go down, I'm just right there laying on the couch, just chilling. No, ho, 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 ho. I wasn't a couch warrior. I'd just be over there. I like to post up on the couch. But I wasn't living on their couch. So okay. let's get that straight up. All right, that's clear. And I hear them beefing and all this shit. They'd be beefing, motherfucker. I'd be, he'd walk out of the door. We'd go outside. He'd, be, he'd jump in the car like nothing ever happened. And then he'd come back later. He'd be like, he'd call upstairs and say something. He'd be like, dude, eh. she don't answer. He'd be like, we was beef. We beef. <laughs> hey, I'm like, what the hell? Hey, that's how you know motherfuckers. Were, like, no, we so leave out. We had more of the most treacherous arguments. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck your mother. Yeah. Mr. Raj is yeah. a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> All this dumb shit. All this old crazy Damn, shit. Damn, we go to Mr. Raj like that. Listen, and Gina, Gina say so something. Gina said that. G Fuck Gina, your mom. Gina, Gina says. Gina says you ain't say that when I when I when I put finger popped you last night. Uh, <laughs> so she yeah, said no wild shit and all that type. Yeah, she got him with that. She didn't say no shit like she that. Started when I, finger popped I heard her. I heard her say that one time. What you talking about, nigga? Don't try to throw that in. You ain't say that when I finger popped you last. night. The fuck you talking about? You didn't say no shit like that. She said that one time. I just I heard it. I know what I See, let me tell you something. The longer you've been with each other, like like right now, him and April, and you know you and your woman, y'all have like regular arguments, like. But y'all Jones be vicious. No, because the longer you've been with some more, the, the, the more treacherous the arguments get. Like, I burned his I, fucking house. The, Yo, no, he no, said no. some shit that was I done told two to hope you die in your sleep tonight. Like, we, <laughs> done got, we done got vicious. <laughs> like, Come fuck on, you, God. bitch, die in your sleep. <laughs> oh, dumb shit. Come she talking about, no, you ain't got to die in your sleep. Die before you yeah. go to sleep. Like, like, you get hit by a car today. I'm like, yo. We done told some shit. Like, I'm in there like, and I ain't going to front. It was a lot of times that they was church. They was violating my whole my whole existence in there because I'm like, yo, do you know y'all got company? I'm chilling on the couch. Don't <laughs> have fucking arguing. 
Like, this is unprofessional. Like, we don't do shit like that. You got company over here. Like, you supposed to be in your best behavior when you got company. Two. <laughs> two got to stop calling when we record. Two, every time I'm, I'm recording, you want to call, two. Now, I'm sitting here telling them how we argue and we, we tell each other some... Cr- I, I'm sitting here telling them how we argue and we tell each other some crazy shit sometimes. Like, how you told me, fuck your mom, that's why she on crack. And I told you... He ain't never said that. Oh, you trying to get the, He ain't never said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I did tell you I beat Mr. Reds the fuck up, didn't I? You ain't never seen that. Didn't I tell you that one time? Didn't I tell you I beat Mr. Reds up one time? You ain't telling shit, shit like huh? that. Huh? I don't think so. And, di- and didn't you tell me you hope I die in my sleep one time? No! <laughs> I told you he'd be lying. I told you he'd be lying. He oh, probably I, said wait, that. Wait, I told you that? Wait, huh? Ding, ding, ding. What'd you say? I told you that. Dave, you've never told me you wish I'd die on my sleep. Like, oh, that's I didn't. Oh, that's a bit much. First of all, Wallow said, telling talk, but you said, pussy, you wasn't saying all that when I finger popped you last night. Ew, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I put that dirt on my fingers. <laughs> I put smut on her. I put smut on her neck. She said, I put that dirt on my finger. Oh, he put, yes. He's putting smut on your name. I'll call you back, baby. <laughs> put, uh. dirt, put dirt. See, you say it right. You're putting dirt on my fingers. Like, I put smut on your name. Yeah, he put smut on your name, too. Dude. You just, it's that was some suburban name. shit. Yeah, like, you put dirt you on put my fingers. You put dirt on my fingers. No, I'm putting smut Wait, on you your talk name. About, he talking about you putting your fingers in my ass, and you, <laughs> you talking about dirt, dirt, <laughs> fuck your dirt on your fingers. fingers. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? <laughs> she done it before. That's how she know about it. She fuck popped it before. <laughs> so, is there any rules in relationship beefs? Oh, man. Mm. I mean, the only thing I know to do is kind of like avoid them. You know that weird like, awkwardness where yeah, you're trying to like, trying to ignore when you don't know when is clear to talk again, y'all just yeah. pass at each other by. Hey, but she really, you, she really you, wants you to talk. She wants you, you to be but a you gotta man. bring up be something. Man. You got to bring up something <laughs> regular. You like, you got to bring up something like, what am I supposed to be wearing to that wedding yeah. next week? Like, you got to bring up something real basic yeah. to try to test the waters and see if she going to let she it gonna slide. she going to throw some toot out there. But sometimes yeah. she really be wanting you to be be the bigger man. You want to have an ego. You got your <laughs> ego. You got to be, you got to be, you got to be stubborn. You got to be stuck in your ways. All that dumb shit. Yeah. So is it, is it rules to relationship beefs? Yeah, I, I got rules. If we beef People today, got rules. But don't fucking, don't cook, don't be nice when I come For the whole day, it's till you, you go to sleep. You want right, to keep going. Right, I, and then I'm wake petty. up like, hey, they cool. I'm nah. you, you will wake up in the middle of the night, baby. I'm sorry. Slide <laughs> in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, put a little I'm scrape. Sorry, put, mean, a, I, put a scrape I, on your belt. How do you show? How do you come up? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. kiss while playing here. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, hey, let me ask y'all a question. Can parents cock block? Is that possible? Yeah. They do that. That's that. that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But is it a violation or not? Because my daughter, my daughter, you know, when they when they had company, like my my kids uh, had company in the basement. My oh, daughter, daughter, my daughter had her friend over. You know, she's seventeen. That's a le- that's, that's illegal be, cock block. That's a legal <laughs> cock block. You, that's yeah, that's not illegal. That's Coda, illegal. What did you do? No, I kept opening the basement door. Just, <laughs> yep, I, I walked down there, I holler shit. They no, no. <laughs> she like, hey. You better than uh, me. I just make sure you breathe. I'd have been out there with him. But I just want him to know that at any time I can open this door and come down. So, but I was thinking to myself, yes, last night. Did you night go I was all the like, way down or you yes, just open the door? I go all the way down all sometimes. Right, I was thinking. You got to do that. I'm, I'm I'm a major cock blocker. But yeah. I, was, I was like. No, that's that's, a, but I was that's like, legal. That's, I was like, when it comes to my daughter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you I'm, within I'm the lines. I'm going to be the motherfucking CBC. The cock, cock block champion. champion. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna be the cock blocking champion. So is it what, my daughter's vagina? Now, what about when your son is down there? He got a oh, little. No, that's oh, no, 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 that's no. illegal. That's illegal. That's, that's illegal. <laughs> you can't do that. Not, not, not. Now, Tootie is the cock block champion when it comes to my son. Yeah, she. Oh my god. How many? How many, she, how, how many all stars she got for cock blocking? Oh, uh, she she's eleven time all star. <laughs> oh, she's a legend. She's going in the hall. Uh, what? She's in the hall. Of she's fame. in the hall of fame of cock blocking. She already <laughs> like she like she'll know he just ate and open the door. Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Like this. no. Ah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta rehose your pistol. Then, then you, you, keep this, hey. you keep you you know how you know how the whole thing they got the button. You, you just keep that joint on. Like, ah, ah. You be like, you gotta get it. Ah, you keep throwing your piece back in the holster. And then you know, young chicks 
They hate to be. They, what all you got to do is all mom got to do is open that joint one time. They, they jump up on a heartbeat. No, your mom. Oh, no, no, your mom ain't coming out here. He mad as shit now. <laughs> that done fucked everything up. Like that. Done, that done fucked. He the, said there. Did he ever? Did he ever say something to G about it? Like mom, why you keep opening the door? Like no, but he'll say something to me though. Hey, like. Like, mom, be tripping. Like, because <laughs> yeah, you know me, I'll be. I'll, yeah. <laughs> you glaze that. That's you a man now. <laughs> you be trying to. Do you be trying to keep her busy? Like, if y'all both home, no, like, I'll you don't give a fuck. No, <laughs> you a, just let. You just let him get blocked. I'll be a bitch. You a man now? <laughs> I, I'm like, go see what that nigga doing, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking yo. <laughs> he's a real blocker. Yeah, listen, listen, but listen. You know what? Yo, you heard that, Lib. This no, nigga the blocker. This, blocker this for real. Thing. This is another thing. Could you snitch on your kid now, peep? My brother, Troy, right? My nephew. Troy, the mother of his child's baby mom, say, snap on him. You ate all the what's the name? Why, who, why, who, who ate all the cereal? Who did something? He did some dumb stuff, right, Troy? Troy, she thinking Troy done. He said, no, that wasn't me, baby. That was, that was boy boy. That was my son. Our oh, son did that. Is that a snitch? No, I snitch on the kids all the time. Um... <laughs> Um, your dad, not your fucking homie. But I'm saying, I'm just, I'm just asking <laughs> you because. Think, oh, you ain't washing the fucking dishes? <laughs> Didn't your fucking mama tell you? All right, babe. <laughs> you know she ain't washing the dishes. Yeah, you stay telling on Nala. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's legal. But yeah. but who do you tell on more? The, the girl or the boy? Is it equal? Like, what's your numbers like? What you you batting? What you batting? Oh no, I, I tell it don't matter. I tell us they fuck up. <laughs> you, you know, you know, he ain't put that fucking trash out right. Motherfuckers. Cause Gina coming, she gonna be hollering the screaming. Right, I let her do the hollering. She call you. She gonna call. Only him time, time I step in is when shit get crucial. Like, and then I gotta like, like, like the time I called my son, and he he went somewhere to rumble some niggas and for his homies, and then his homie jumped in the car and pulled off on him. What? Oh, that was yeah. when he was in the hood, right? Yeah, he was, he was out camping. Went down in the Camden to fight some niggas. They they rolled on his homie. He, well, not even his homie. It was his 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 homie's brother. Yeah, you know, they come get my boy because they know my boy got them hands. They get down in the camp, then them niggas come running out the house 48 deep. <laughs> he didn't know it was 48 niggas in one house. <laughs> they came out the house 48 deep. His homie jump in the car and pull off. My son ain't make it to the car. Now he got to put his back against the wall. They was about to, to fuck him up like 48 hyenas. No, you know what? Sometimes your mental GPS redirect you. Because I remember one time I was going to rumble some dudes with, his, with his, my homie. That's when I was young. I paid for it, though. So... As we running down the block, you know what I mean? We chasing these bulls, right? But for some reason, when we ran past one block, it was about 10 of us. When we ran past one block, it was, it was an alleyway there. So I'm thinking, I'm going to take the shortcut. I'm going to go this way. You know what I mean? And the alley took me somewhere else. I never made it to the the, the, the Royal Rumble, the brawl and all that stuff. And uh, Nigga, you was bitching. Get the no, fuck I'm just saying, they try to say that I did I mean, So boy, I, got was socked. I got socked about that. But I'm like, yo, man. like. Oh, well, you got back to the hood, they socked you? Yeah, because it was like, no, I was trying to take the shortcut to get to get the jump on it. You know what I mean? Just, hey, like, he so was dude bitching. Probably, I meet y'all there and never showed up. Niggas got their redirect. ass whooped. They got back to the hood and fucked him up. Dude probably, like. dude probably redirect the whole joint, so you know. <laughs> no, he, he ain't redirect. He got the fuck out of there, my boy. They was about to kill him out there. Mm. Luckily, luckily, his dad, who, who is who his dad is, I see his fucking life. Came wasn't out even of the there. crib. Yeah, I wasn't even there. <laughs> he jumped in the car, peeled out. Well, <laughs> that's terrible. Never uh, chill with that nigga again, ever. Uh, and I told him, I said, "Listen, you know how you know you ain't cut from the same cloth as your daddy." He said, "How?" I said, "The nigga that jumped in the car with y'all still living." <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> We'd have killed that nigga yeah, when we right. got back to the hood. We'd have beat the fucking skin <laughs> off that nigga. We would have beat the shit. Now, how they lump Wallow shit up? They only sock Wallow gave him a little shiner because he ran off trying to figure that's like he was trying defense. to make it. That was what? That's a part of defense. Like like getting beat up sometimes, that's a part that builds your defense. You character. block it with your eye. You block punches <laughs> I, I with your eye. I didn't see it coming. It came from a different direction. <laughs> okay. part, let's get to me and I was with a game. Gilly, how do you get rid of a nigga that won't pay for shit and refuse to leave? I don't want to get him locked up. She's a mama wife. Oh, Mama wife. I don't want to get him locked up. I don't want to get him fucked up. But I feel like my back is against the wall. Damn, she gangsta. She got. I have begged him to get the fuck out, and he won't. He has several places to go. He won't be homeless. So I don't understand why he won't leave. What can I do to get him to leave without getting the cops or my family involved? We have two kids together, but I am not in love with him anymore. He doesn't pay any rent. Or bills, She's a or wife. clean up after himself. I just want him out. Yo, so he just in there posting up, holding up by rent. 
Right. Like, how do you do that? But no, 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 no. The worst part about it is it ain't him. It's her. It's this bitch. <laughs> a nigga live with you. <laughs> he don't, do, he don't shit. do shit. He don't pay nothing. And a bitch acting like, how can I get him out? Bitch, you don't want him out. Yeah. Dick and problems. Because at the end of the day, Damn. at the end of the day, if you wanted a motherfucker out your house that's in your house, it ain't that fucking hard. How do you get him out? Uh, that nigga get there and the doors be locked. Mm -hmm. The yep. locks change is the changed. Lock. Yep, change the locks. Listen, even yeah. if you had to call the police, that's not getting a nigga locked up. That's just saying, I want a nigga removed yeah, from that's these what, premises. Yeah, that's all they do. That's it. That's all they going to do. <laughs> that's not nigga. No, no, I ain't sending you to jail, nigga. I just need the nigga up out of here. But if you come home with Listen, day, this is my name on the lease. Listen, he ain't did nothing wrong. He ain't hit a bitch or nothing. I just need him to get the fuck out this joint because he, he's a raggedy nigga. He don't understand unless I call you motherfuckers. He ain't going to get the fuck out. You come, or, you come home one day from, from where, chilling with Boo Boo and Black, smoking some you know, Reggie. And you walk up and the locks change and your your plastic briefcase, aka trash bag, is sitting in front of the door. You're sick. Yeah. And don't nobody to tell the kids don't open that damn door. Hey, but that's the reality that some niggas need. Yeah. See, some niggas' motivation in life is being is not even the actuality. It's in their mind them being shitted on. That's the motivation That's in the life. That's best motivation. You know what? Life. You know what's crazy? He says that in I've seen niggas get kicked out of cribs in that situation. You know the first thing they do? Post it on the gram. Bags of bags of clothes around them outside. What? This bitch threw me. This bitch threw me out. This bitch what? can't even hold me down. And they'll post that shit. Facebook, all that shit. What? Right. Yes. That type of shit. That's yes, what? I've what? seen it multiple what? times. Prime example. Not even what? in relationships. She threw me out. With kids. <laughs> That's right? crazy. With kids sometimes. Sometimes as an adult, you have kids that don't want to do the right shit. And as they get to 20, 21, 22, 23, as a parent, you got to say, you know what? Get the fuck out. Because you don't understand. You don't get it. And sometimes that'd be the best shit. That a parent could have did for the motherfucker. Get him on their job. Because now he's so mad at his at his parents, they gonna put me out. I'm a they stun gonna, on them. I'm I'll a, show them. I fuck that. I'm gonna get a job. And I'm a, <laughs> that's, that's what all you, you had were supposed to do, to do in the first the place. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta go back to but, he said, dude, standing with three, four trash bags. She kicked me out. Word she up. She ain't hold me down. Oh no, no, that no, is no, crazy. No, 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 no. That, all he trying to do is, yep. is scoop up another bitch that's <laughs> yes, going to take him in. and it be working. I just seen you on Instagram. I seen what she <laughs> did to bait. you. That's bait, huh? Yes, yeah. for that's another double, mama wife. That's double B, bum bait. Right. Yeah, for, bum, <laughs> right. for mama wife. Yo, is you kidding me? And, and guess what a bitch going to do? A bitch going to jump right in. You can drop your stuff off here. Yeah. And find somewhere You know what? Live. That ain't, that, that's wrong. Right. Like, you, 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 could, you could bring your two trash bags here and you just find down. somewhere else to where live. You just down right there. You just down. And then she try to kick him out. <laughs> no, she ain't going to kick him out. She going to take him in. Yeah. He going to do two. First of all, let me just tell you something. <laughs> Niggas is professional bouncers. Yeah. <laughs> And, and when he go in there, he going to dick her no, down. With about like, the club. No, I ain't talking about the club. He niggas, gonna is dog, niggas is professional bouncers. They bounce here for two years. <laughs> they live with this bitch for seven months. They bounce over here bouncers. for three years. Niggas is professional bouncers. bouncers. Like, niggas, let me tell you something. One thing about niggas. Keisha, Naeem, Tammy, Beck. Uh, what? what? Uh, for, niggas do a whole DMX song. <laughs> it was Keisha, Lorenda, <laughs> Tamika, Tanya, Keisha, LaShawn, Felicia, Ranisha, <laughs> Ranisha, Kim, stay about four Stacys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, God damn. <laughs> Call that dude Bounce. Who are you talking about? Bobby Bounce? Yeah, Bobby Bounce. <laughs> Bobby Bounce. Yeah, Bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey Bounce. Who? Kareem Bounce. You're like, damn, that's a big ass family, them dudes. They got the biggest family in the city. That's the Bounce family. The yeah. Bounce brothers. <laughs> <laughs> They be having meetings. They got the bounce organization of America. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the bump bounce organization That's of America. That's crazy, man. And let me tell you something. And it's always to the to the day the world end. It's always going to be a woman somewhere. A mama wife. A mama yeah. wife that's going to take these. They niggas ease them in. in. They sit them on the uncle bed first, the couch. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you could rest rest on the uncle bed. Then one night they're going to come out like you look uncomfortable. You might as well. You no, know what I mean? Come no, jump these, in. These bitches take them straight to the bedroom. Think they taking them straight in? Straight to the bedroom. They ain't playing no games. Some of them probably setups. 
Mm. Let me they ain't playing no games. That's crazy. You though. hear me? Let's get to uh back of the day versus today. Which is better? That's back, back in the day. That's dumb. Back in the day is way better. Back in the day better than today. Yeah. In a lot of ways. No, it's not. What you mean? The crown was down in A day. I don't even know about no, that. Niggas was killing. Niggas I don't know what you talking, talking about. Not like now. Not like now, bro. Talk back in the back 90s, in the nineties, niggas the, couldn't. We had the. We, had the uh, we was in murder capital. The fuck, you talking about? No, no, no. That was in two thousand, like seventeen. That wasn't in, that wasn't in, in the nineties. Camden, yeah, Camden, Camden was no, on I'm some other shit. I'm not talking about the nineties. I'm talking about the eighties. Back in the day, my, my old head. Listen, let me tell you something. My old head is a post on the corner. That's that's something they need to bring back from back in the day. Reggie in forties, they post up on the what? corner, <laughs> and they argue. They weren't shooting each other about no dog. Reggie. Reggie in 40s. Niggas is killing each other off this shit out here now. Think no, about that. niggas ain't killing niggas off a of good weed. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? They and not. And all that shit. All, listen, niggas look, killing niggas off that dog food. Yeah. And motherfucking, they got damn them Percocets. Well, that's what I'm saying. Back in the day, dudes was on Reggie and weed. No, Think niggas about was that. on lean too. No, no, no. Not, not, not. It not, is higher. Were, it's high, more it's, people it's now. It's higher. Like, it wasn't like that back in the day. Cool now. drug use in this time than it was then. Look at the parties right now compared to back in the day. Don't, 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 don't. But you know do the that. parties oh, is trash here, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you ever, you already know I was DM. Don't fuck that up. Don't, you can never do it. Dudes don't dance now. Back in the yeah. day. So listen, I'm dancing as I'm walking. As I'm walking into the joint, I'm stepping into the door. Yeah. Mm. Go, oh, they go wild out. They go DM. They, DM, get, get it, DM. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going right in, right? They don't do that. They just stand there and be tough. <laughs> These guys over here, they they looking at them dudes over there across the room. They we're toughing to them. They over there, we're tough. No, them. and bottle they service over, ruined the club too. Sections. Niggas want to just stand on couches, hold the joints, go like this. Yeah, Bull, they, yeah, yeah it's bullshit. You know why? You know why I ruined the joint? Because I used to love when I see certain players when they come up in them come up in the dollar party, they slide in there, everybody, hey, what's the name? They got the ICF right here. They babysitting the ICF with the, the skirt. Dollar, on. Come on, dollar parties, bro. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Hold, hold, dollar hold, parties, hold, we used to be in there no, dancing, no. sweating like fucking no, Harry and Tubman trying to make another <laughs> underground come railroad. On. Do, do, you, do you see one of the players in the corner with their home? They got the glasses on, they chilling. Hey, what's up? Shirt crack. Hey, what's up? There's all the honey dips hollering at them. And then the they, honey they, dips. Then they go up, they, they got the ICF, cool, they, they cool them, they call it the cooler. That was the, that was the air conditioning in the, in the dollar parties, the cold ICFs, especially a real dollar party. They sold the ICFs in the dollar party. They had the freeze in the back. I, you know what I mean? Give me two of them Jones. I was like, damn, You man. talking about like the basement grind off Jones yeah, where yeah, you get yeah, a John, yeah. a slow song come on and y'all just be grinding profusely. They got just, the 40 on. Right. Yeah, yeah, baby Wallo used to do that <laughs> shit. He, he never used to be dance machine. He get there, he dance with a bitch for two hours straight, don't get That's no pussy jump. at the end of the night. <laughs> No pussy. He danced with the bitch. I ended up fucking her. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You was warming him up with, with he was dances. He was warming him up. You was up. grinding him up, getting him wet for him. For to, this the whole twist. He was the warmer. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. He was the care. warmer. I don't care what he say. I love, listen, let me just say this. Don't get it messed up. I love the music. I love the now. But back in the day was some next level shit. I don't care what he say. It, no, it's definitely point. better. Listen, listen. And I'll tell you right now. If dudes Talk, right now was on 40s. Back in the day, we had cell phones. Listen, so No, what? no. That was, was better, better, man. That's better, you bro. You know I was? Laying back. Listen, I got to. What, I had listen. No. I had tapes. You know the, how nutty it was? I, you had to wait for. You sit in the house, wait for a bitch to call you. No, but no, no, it made no, it, it better. So no, no, no. It was better, bro. No, no, no. no, no, no. You, it was listen, better. Fuck you talking about. It was better, bro. Who the fuck it was? The only thing I hate is. Is, niggas ain't had no is, laptops and that niggas had to put an old VCR <laughs> tape to jerk off. Oh, no, had, but that made them uh, no, that was, those that tapes was, was way shit. more precious back then. Yeah, that was better. That was a, that was a legend. But listen, you know what I hated? The, that cheese line, that one line on the from John. So, so you be on the John. Listen, I'll be mid, mid in my John. Cause listen, I used to make slow tapes for the phone call. So the John to drop. <laughs> Always and forever. I'll be like, damn, what you got on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy baby. Your mom What's pick up, up the phone in the other room. Boy, I got a call with Get up, you still on the phone? Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a, listen, I'm gonna call you back, all right? You're like, all right, call me back. As soon as he called me back, because I'll pause the tape. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. I let it say. So when I call it back in like an hour, I hit the tape. Damn, Keisha, what's up? Each moment <laughs> with you. What's up, baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you looked nice early, early today at school. It's that third. You won't even go to my school. No, I was just up there though. I, you know, I don't play school. Damn, what's up? Look, like, can I come nigga over? Was, well, nigga wasn't going to school. He just told. No, I wasn't. Up. I wasn't at the time. But, listen, but it was the whole thing. Falling asleep on the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? They got the music playing in I'm the background. I'm gonna keep it all the way yeah. real though. I go into my son room probably about a week and a half ago. I, you know, because I like it. Oh, he's. Pe a, I'm peeking to see if the nigga made it in. Yeah. Uh, he had the slow music on. No, this nigga's sleep. Is about 
4.35 in the morning. But his phone's laying on the bed. and They snoring together? It's on FaceTime, and they snoring together. <laughs> Yo, that, he's a no, no, that's he's real a shit, though. He's a that's player. real that's shit. Yo, shit. and he he's on a, a love bop. Yep, he, yo, he, he, he on the love bop, though. Yo, did he do, yo, did he do what I told him to do? No, but listen, about, I, about, listen. I, I, I want my fan. No, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. want my fan. Yo, chill, chill, yo, chill, he was chill. bitching. He was, don't put him out there. Yo, chill, 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 chill. He did. See? Chill, he, son. He ain't did. But I, when I seen him in a while, I said, damn, you fell asleep with that motherfucker on the phone. He started laughing. I said, that pussy reached out and grabbed me, you know? But no, back in the day was better, man. Listen, back in the day, listen. Listen, this look right now. But with, they ain't got no haircuts. Back in the day, they had JCs. They had listen. They had CRs. <laughs> they ain't got none of that back. They had what the fuck is a CR? BLs, BOs. They had blowouts, a cornrows. They still Jerry got Cubs, that. Still got it. Jerry, well, not Jerry's, not Jerry's. It was legend back then. Like, but they got the nappy like, brush, John. Duh, Gucci, back then we Gucci had lace. niggas had. You can wear sweatsuits every day. You can wear a sweatsuit every day. Beepers, no. beeper, beepers wasn't the truth. No. Come on, bro. Compared to the iPhone 11? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> no, but Beepers think, one no, shit. No, How but did think, you wear your beeper? Inside or outside? Oh, well, inside. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. No, no, no. Now, check yeah, this out. Just, no, that's no, no, that's I thing. I was going to say. Gil, you think you worry about. about your kids more in a time where their cell phones, like, you know, back in the day, your kids left the crib. You ain't know where they was at. And you, my mom didn't even think about it. I'm going from the moment I leave out in the morning until whatever time at night. There's no communication. Now, people constantly got to, like, check up on each other. You wondering where they at, where back in the day wasn't like Pulling up in white vans, even snatching. Man, there either. was always wild shit going on. No, not like that, dog. They just arrested four hundred fucking motherfuckers for snatching up motherfuckers. Out they just here. got better technology to catch them niggas now, dog, man. Man, it was word up. First of all, dog, first of all, dog, it was okay. Let me just tell you something. You remember, reason, you remember reason, America's hold, most wanted? Hold on, listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, listen. The reason why shit like that is happening now is because. Of the technology. See, like when shit happened back then, like that, it was just one nigga. That means it's better. So you agree no, that it was better back then? No, no, no. Hold on. It was just one nigga. He was just kidnapping all the bitches in, in small town Texas, <laughs> <laughs> fucking them bitches, throwing them in the Chopping freezer, <laughs> Yo, eating on, them and shit. Yeah, that way it was some crazy niggas. niggas. They only had one nigga <laughs> to track down. <laughs> <laughs> now you just seen <laughs> three hundred and eleven motherfuckers in a. Dog. Guess what? Because they was watching. Because they was watching serial dog. killers like you it's on Mexicans, TV. Mexicans, is white people, is black people, is Asian people, is Puerto Rican people, is Cambodian people. Like it's everybody in the ring. Everybody's in that shit to where you looking at this shit like how much money is niggas making that all these motherfuckers is out here trying to kidnap people? Think about that. It's a shitload of money. Organs and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Like, how much money do you gotta be making for a motherfucker to come up to you and say, Do you wanna be a part of the the kidnapping ring? All you gotta do is kidnap a motherfucker and bring him to the Econo Lodge and we'll give you this. How much money got to be involved? Mm -hmm. How much you think they getting per person? To a motherfucker to be like, fuck it, I'm just going to give a regular life. I wasn't, I, wasn't I wasn't even into kidnapping motherfuckers, but y'all paying how much? Yeah, no, that shit crazy. Man. All right, fuck it. Uh, all right, y'all y'all provide the van that and the driver. Some, like, think about that. That's something to think about. What type of money they getting? Like, y'all provide the van and the driver? And all I got to do is get them to the van and out of a, okay. Yeah, he talking about like human trafficking and body part niggas. Yeah. That's right. The, like how level. much, think about it. Dang. Well, how much is, how my much, nigga. how much you selling a fucking heart for? My think nigga. about yeah. that. Like if you, if you dying, how much is a rich nigga going to pay for, for a, a motherfucking heart. heart, dog? Anything, nigga. Oh, so listen. So if that was only, the motherfuckers that they caught was only. A small percentage. A small percent. That was just in that. That town, that right there. This nigga, it may be 500 niggas in Philly, Delaware, Chicago. Shit, 4,000 4, niggas in New York. You know how big New York is? It's 500 niggas in Brooklyn alone kidnapping motherfuckers. Like, how much money is niggas making to risk getting a 20 to 40, a 30 to 60? Because anything could go wrong. 
nigga kidnapping period your joint is crazy like that shit right. get you bit worse than murder Jones. that's how you know that it's that some ain't no, serious that ain't no joke that's that how you shit. know it's some serious money in this shit don't get nobody no ideas yeah. no but that's yeah. it's crazy but but at the end of the day when you when you look up and you get that 30 to 60 was it worth kidnapping them two people them four people them six people god damn that's thought Think about it. That kidnapping. Listen, when I was in jail, robbery and kidnapping, it seemed like you get more. You could kill somebody, and get a five to ten. Mm -hmm. You rob someone or, or, or kidnap somebody. Woo! Mm -hmm. Think about this though, right? How heartless do you got to be to kidnap an innocent little girl? Yeah, and drop her off somewhere, and I like whatever. A, what y'all do to her? Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck. What's about give to happen? Give me my money. To give me my couple of dollars. Hey, with my with my. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, go ahead. Cut a motherfucking chest open and, and take everything out. I don't, I don't give a fuck what y'all want to do. I'm, I'm about to go back to Target, see if I can get another one. Whew. Think how heartless you got to be. That's some crazy shit. If a motherfucker did that to my child and I found out, it's not no way I'm not spending the rest of my life in jail. You got to go all the way out. It's not no way. I, I know. If I knew you did something to my child and I know you and you right there, I know I'm going to jail for the rest of my life. But you know what I think, though? I think from the advertisement and, the, and, and, and just the, uh, the notoriety of the white van, I sit here and I tell people this all the time. Like, look at everything. It could be a trunk. It don't have to be that. Like, so, that you throw you off the white by van. By the way, real no, quick. Did real you quick. actually see the white van and how it was hooked up? That's crazy. Y'all didn't see the white no. van? My nigga, they got this shit hooked up like it's a freezer on the inside. So they just throw you they, in there, wham. My nigga, they got all types of computer shit. Like, they really spending money on this shit. Like, because they caught one of the niggas they, they, in, in the white vans. They show you the inside of the van. This shit is immaculate, man. So they Like, these niggas is really spending money on this shit. Like, a whole surveillance joint in there and everything. This shit's crazy. Whew. So, just to the people... Out there, man. Be safe. Look at all cars. Cars, right. vans, be on everything. Right. Hold your kids coming out. Of, I don't care where you coming out of. Hold your When you in that store, don't be letting little, little, little kid run around. Hold you. Put them in that car. No. Right. He, they everywhere. Right, because the babies are precious, man. And we yeah. don't want to let we don't want to let none of these motherfuckers take advantage no. of your babies, man. They on point. Let's go. Oh, real, real quick, uh -huh. too. Like he said, go to jail forever. I'm going to get the name to pop up here. There was a man back in the 80s, I believe, whose son was kidnapped by his karate teacher, bro, on some real shit. His son was molested by this man. The man killed the karate teacher on live television. And he beat it. He beat live it. Live television. He was, was he, he from act, Louisiana? He acted like he was on the phone in the airport. And the way the airport used to be set up, boy was walking by he with the it, police, cause. the news people, everything. He's sitting there acting like he's on the phone. He got the burner on him. He lined it up so perfect that when the dude got right there, he come off the phone, banged him, blew his brains out, bong, and then hung the phone, hung the phone back up. And that nigga beat that case, bro. Straight like that. Mm. Straight up. Well. Oh shit. Is this is this right here, right Leon here. Gary Plotch? Leon Gary Plotch, is that's that his him? Name? Was an American man known for the 1984 vigilante killing of death uh, of Jeff. Dosette, who had kidnapped this and sexually is, assaulted his son. It was in the airport, yep. dog. And he banged him in the airport, bro. Uh. Right on camera. You could watch that shit right now. It was Louisiana, yup. Leon Garrett, yup. Leon Garrett, yup. He, Real he, shit. He came, boost, Real boost. shit. And he beat it. And, he, and the jury said not guilty. Yeah. They like, fuck that, nigga. Yup. Yep. Yeah, so that. they, so since him, you can't, you, they had to really push laws like you can't, we, this, he got that exception. He got that ride. He you knocked know what him mean? right off. Yup. Right. Well, let's uh, get into stories from the cell. Stories from the cell is brought to you by, have you had any good hair lately? What do your hair look like? Hmm? You had any more? Have you been uh, getting your little hookups lately? <laughs> People been sneaking off what? getting them? No, because I don't, you know, like me, I'm, I'm one of them dudes, like, I'll be like, yo, where you at? I'm at the shop. What shop you at? <laughs> like, you trying to, you trying, don't, don't do that. Don't try to one up, because he wanted the one upper bulls. He mm. wanted bulls, oh yeah, I just got a new, uh. <laughs> I got a just new guy. I just got me a new. Came uh, back with full dreads. 
he, he he's a classic one upper boy. Yeah, I just got me a um I just bought me a, a cheesesteak early. Oh yeah, I just bought a cheesesteak store. I bought a little store. <laughs> he one of dudes. Oh yeah, I just uh I went and bought me a motorcycle. Yeah, I uh Kawasaki. I just got stock in Kawasaki. <laughs> I mean, so he one of the boys. He wanna be he want me to be caught naked out there. He wanna pull up one time. He Whoa. got his, he got not like that. Not not on duty. Not that type of naked. But he want me to be caught raw out here. He pull up. Well, <laughs> Yo. not, not on duty. He want me to be caught without any hair, right? Okay. And he pull up. Hey, what's up, man? Bam! Get in the video. I'm, he trying to. He, that's like a flex. That's like for dudes with no dudes with no hair, ball dudes. That's like a crazy, a weird flex. Like, yeah, I got hair. You don't. Yeah, what? We out here. Like, let's go somewhere. Let's go out. Go what? Go out where? Why was we going anywhere? And you got hair, and I don't. That's, <laughs> that don't make no sense. It's not an equal playing field. But. He's brought to you by, have you had any good hair lately? Listen, everything, divaglam.com. Go to them so you can get, you know, help your soul glow. Get that glorious and luxurious, that hair that just going to, you know, had that guy looking at you different because he wasn't looking at you until you got that everything, divaglam.com hair. Uh, we're going to talk about stories from the cell, and this one is real particular. This is deep. Prison predators. I'm in jail, right? <laughs> okay. This is deep. I'm in jail. So... The thing about a prison predator is the way they coming, you won't even notice them. Like you, you like a lot of times prison predators go from jail to jail, and sometimes you don't know that they even in the jail. Mm. So they might come to jail, they might be settling. Cause I ain't gonna I ain't gonna find I remember one time, it was this dude in my cell that raped somebody one time. Mm. No, 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 no bullshit. No bullshit. He was in your cell. He's he your cell. He was listen, your celly. He was in my celly. So listen. And he raped somebody. Listen, listen. Just you and him in his cell. No, no, listen, listen, listen. He he, he pulled the stunt back in the day. So they just came to the block. So he come to the block. He, you know, they, cause they said they put people in your cell. He come to the block and he just in the cell. So I go to the yard and come back. So when I come back, I see the unit manager. His name, the unit manager name was Jerry Walsh of Dallas. His name was Jerry Walsh. He come to the block. He like, hold up, hold up. Uh, no, give me a minute, people. Uh, we ready to get, get you a different cellar. He got to go. So later on, I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? So. The boy, the, the block worker was like, no, I heard him talking. The boy, man, he was a vicious bandit back in the day. He was a, he was a, he was a, he was a booty warrior. I said, oh my God. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. How big, how big was this dude? Was he you was nervous? Short. He wasn't even, uh, he, he was, was a short old head, man. Was you nervous? Like, like, like let me just tell you, you something. Did you think your ass was on the line? No, no, no. Let me tell you something. In jail, it ain't about how tall, skinny, that shit don't mean nothing. A motherfucker you least expected to see somebody jump over a table and, 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 de and destroy somebody. So now I'm like, damn. So now I'm like, what the? F so I go tell my old. I said, damn, you know? Oh yeah, that's the boy. You talking about? He just got transferred from something. Yeah, he was a vicious boy back in the day. I'm like, D so a lot of always, like I told you, they don't be saying too much about who was who because they might have some mustard on their jacket. Like you'll go to jail one of the triple, no straight up one of the triple OGs that you thinking is the triple OG OG to the third power. He didn't. He was. A, he was. A, he wasn't a booty warrior, but he used, to, he used to go on dates in jail back in the day. He was a booty warrior. Then, yeah, that fuck too. You mean. But I'm talking about the warriors. They be different. But listen. So, so the old he pulled my coat. It was an old head on my block. Another old he's like, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a predator. I said, predator. What the fuck? That's the first time I heard it in jail. Like he's no joke. And it'd be a dude in prison that you everybody would speak to. And I'm like, you the only person that know he's a no. Everybody know. I'm like. How the fuck everybody know when they speaking to this boy? Like this dude, like a, a white boy or something that coming in jail, like he's casing him up. Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, he's body checking him. Oh, okay. What's going so on, he, man? So he's a predator in a sense, like he befriend you and try to act like he's cool. Listen, animal, listen. So a white boy, or you could be a, you know, a fatigued black boy, like this, that just like, that's meek. I mean, whatever. And they're going to be like, yo, what's up, man? What's going on? So you'll see these boys. They'll be in yard. You'll see them like, damn, why are you with that? Goofy ass white boy. White boy. Hey, hey, play with him. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, he's ready to rip him. Like, like straight <laughs> Come up. Come on, man. Like, no, 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 no. No, no, straight up. And but but what fuck me up when I'm telling my old way, I'm like, hold up. Why y'all allowing dudes? Like, why y'all not pulling nobody coach and letting everybody know? Like the young boys know, like, they away from OG. And then it'd be it'd it be crazy. OG would be respected by everybody. You see what I'm saying? Go on visits, mm -hmm. have a family, mm -hmm. uh, a good brother. Whatever, you know, Christian, mm -hmm. Muslim, whatever, be doing all that stuff. And you be like, damn, nobody say nothing to you. Mm -hmm. The prison predator is not the dude that's walking around uh, uh, drawing. He's the dude that you're gonna see toting the Bible, chilling. He gonna he finding his way to get through to somebody. Reverence through Islam, reverence through Christianity. And you'll be thinking, like, damn, you know, oh here's salad. No. Mm -hmm. 
Uh uh-uh, uh. He's trying to listen. Listen. He he's trying to crack them cheeks. He snowball. <laughs> No, straight up. He's trying Boy, to, it ain't solid. He's trying to toss your He's trying to toss your <laughs> solid. Toss solid. Put dressing it up and, and, and leave some dressing on it. So Come I mean, on, I'm yo. Saying, I'm just being straight up. I mean, come on, God. Come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm man. just saying, listen. That was too vivid. Yes, sir. Like, listen, like, listen. I mean, I've never heard that, 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 that description either. ever added to the stuff. I'm mean, going to just say this, though. Like, no, 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 no bullshit. So you'll be in a joint, right? That was a vicious prison you'll be joint. In a, you'll be in a I'm joint, to right? I'm toss your salad and leave and, some dressing and, and on listen, it. Listen, and you don't even know, like, and then and then all you got to do, listen, this is one thing about prison, though. This is one thing I learned about the old heads in prison. This ain't for every old head, but a lot of old heads, and anybody been to prison know this. All it take is for an old head to get mad at another old head. And they expose each other. They be like, yeah, that motherfucker. Listen, listen especially, oh, I, listen, because. I had to happen in the hood. Because it's like it's like a battle. I had two old heads in the hood. We respected down the projects. They got mad at each other, and the nigga said, shut up, nigga. You know we used to fuck them niggas in jail. I said, what? Whoa. So, I was like, so listen, Whoa. So listen, this is what happened. But this is what happened. So this shit happened like 24 years ago, man. So, I so, couldn't believe my, my, my old head told my other old head that. Nigga, I, I denounced them niggas from that day on. Like, listen, listen, wait, listen, you listen. niggas was in prison. You niggas yeah, was, they was booty warriors. You was booty warriors. Like, listen. So listen, this is what happened. At the end of the day, in, in prison, a lot of the old heads stay relevant. They got to have respect from the young boys. See, like, they got because when the young boys think they cool, that's when they got power. Right. Because the young boys, so they wait. Oh yeah, that motherfucker. You gonna say get around the young boys in the yard? Yeah, this is that third motherfucker, man. Yeah, they, ain't nobody know he married Tammy back in the day on B block in the back block. Ain't nobody know. Yeah, I was at the wedding. Hold up, boy. You was at the wedding? <laughs> what you mean? You be like, hold up, boy. No, no. Because my cell was there. He'd clean that shit up real quick. Uh-huh. And you'd be like, damn. A lot of them boys was booty warriors, man. Hold on. These, so, hold on. Wait. Dude, they be having like wedding, like they throw rice and shit. Like they be throwing. No, dudes, well, dudes they get throw married. oodles and noodles. <laughs> they throw oodles and they crunch no. up the oodles and noodles no, and throw. Just, like what's the what's the like celebration? I don't like no, I never really. I seen was that. about to catch you. I was like, he gonna try to say I was the best man at the wedding. Oh, I was the best man at the wedding. I was ready to. I was. I was ready to line him up. I was never no best man. I was like, no way. He was ready to answer. No, because he had a smartphone. He had a smartphone in jail. So I was like, was you a photographer at the wedding? A wedding photographer? You know. Waddle the, waddle the I wedding photographer in jail. I was, never, the prison. I was never, listen, listen. I was never no best man in any prison yard wedding. Yes, never. Was. I was yes, never. Was. Don't, don't put you that on my singing, head. Don't put that on my head. You were singing, she's your queen <laughs> to make me a vision of perfection. No, but listen, but listen, the whole twist burning Just the whole desire. <laughs> For young boys that's in the street to right satisfy now, your that's doing every your thing. desire. Listen, listen. I can see him saying it in a prison <laughs> way. He <laughs> wouldn't say it in a prison <laughs> way. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I can see him saying it in a prison way. A prison way. Two old heads. Yeah. Two old heads got married. The two doors. He said, yeah. "We was fucking in here back in the day. <laughs> you know, we was tearing the boys up." That was his old heads. He basically no, 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 said, no, no, "That was old heads." Listen, said that shit. That was their argument where they don't talk to each other like him and Toot like for the rest of the day. Then after they said that shit, they was no longer my old heads. They was just some niggas I knew. You like, so, I, yeah, I didn't know some niggas as my old heads. So them niggas didn't talk for the rest of the day. Yeah, they body check. Yeah, they did. I didn't even know what the body check thing was. But now every nigga, they was body check. Now every nigga that body check me now. So what are they getting out of the body check? The body check. They try to see how strong your seal is. They try to crack Gil seal. Young buck, what's up, young buck? You see Dan and them. You was a young man. Oh, oh, man, so <laughs> to you gotta crack your seal. Like a young boy, but they're easy body check. So, cause he likes to play basketball. Come on, Gil. Come on, <laughs> come on. good game, baby. Me, like, I can see him coming back from the gym in prison. Good game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> body check. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Nigga ain't slap me on my ass. Slap me, what the fuck is you listen, talking about? Because you play sports, so you don't always, give a fuck. Good game, no matter. It ain't about location. No, yeah, because in football, don't y'all, don't y'all, don't y'all, game, don't y'all smack each other on the ass in football, football and basketball. basketball. Well, basketball. What about wrestling? No, no, ain't nobody smacking wrestling. nobody no, on the ass on wrestling. You're the captain of the wrestling team. Nobody prison, smacks nigga. each other on the ass wrestling. <laughs> Good job. No, they, they own each other's ass. You no. be on your sensei ass. <laughs> Yo, he be grabbing no, on the sensei ass. No, I his don't. Sensei, yeah. <laughs> like, his sensei be like this. I got you, Dan. <laughs> Cheek back. I got you. Cheek back. I got you. <laughs> Cheek back. Uh, that nigga sensei yeah, Dev like this I got you tap his out, leg, he got his leg in his, he got his leg back here Dev sensei like this I got you Dev tap out tap out Dev. tap out I my got leg, you my leg over here tap out my leg <laughs> You never did this move before. My leg on my head, Sensei. All this, Yo. Shit. Yo. this is called the butt cheek grinder. Uh, <laughs> tap out there. Yeah, Sensei. Oh, you oh, have power. 
<laughs> all they want to do is go wrestle with a, a 48 year old white man <laughs> with a bird nest. Oh man, <laughs> that shit crazy. Uh, is he married? Uh, yeah, he getting action. Come on, man. What's up, Come, yo, yo, nah, nah, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Wait, body, oh, body check no, he trying to reverse this. He trying to reverse this. Nobody body check. Man. Don't body check me. Man. I seen, I seen, I saw Gil do, wrestling and doing jujitsu. I seen it. The boy always did the body check no, you. Did. Yes, I did. You never seen me. Y'all be that shit with Tom Bali and them. Y'all, yeah, I swear it's on my mom's life, I watched him. He had a full gi on. Okay, hold on. I did it. I did it for one day. Just to try it out, but you do it every day. I do. No, you respect the arts. That's why. Like he, no, he go wrestle with grown ass men every you day. You respect the arts, nigga. And, and a nigga be all uh, Dev be laid back with his legs up like this. <laughs> <laughs> all in between his legs, Dev. Like, <laughs> but like that's a little. Like, come on, that's, Dev. That's it, spicy. That's that's. Yo, man, I was ready to fuck somebody up, man. Somebody rolled past the other day in the car. <laughs> no, you I'm wasn't. I'm pumping my no, straight up. I'm pumping my gas. If they would, if they would have pulled up in the gas station, I would have been listen. It'd have been, it would have been blood everywhere. Blood would have <laughs> broke dance. Blood would have been break dancing on the concrete. Wow. And they just pulled up the drug boy. Just drove by. Earl was a bitch. That shit, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, who? Oh, like, niggas is just. I go right in my stands. Who the fuck is that? It's Gil. He, he no, he drove by, beat me the whole laugh. Hey, I'm like. You're lucky that you didn't pull over and say that shit. Gil got these kids out here disrespecting the arts. Y'all disrespecting Earl. Somebody because let me tell you something. Nobody, everybody know that. Even Bruce Lee said, "Uh, a, a boxer." Somebody said Bruce. No, Lee no, no, said no. That Bruce shit. Lee said no. that no, was his son. He definitely said that. That was his son. You ain't supposed to put that shit out. You Bruce Lee nah. said a boxer who trains for one year mm -hmm. or a wrestler that trains for one year yep. could beat any karate master. Ever so basically that tells that me don't got no 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 fuck you no 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 hold on first off first off hey, first off first off I was captain of the wrestling team I'm put official them. wait 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 you're so captain hold on 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 I'm talking about what jail was you not not jail yeah he said jail he said what jail he said what jail and hold on real quick to correct that Bruce Lee said that that shit was like 1969 so that's when the martial arts the martial arts was so separated now those martial arts have boxing have boxing incorporated they have takedowns takedown defense. He he was correct back when, then. They said when he was a captain of a wrestling team, you know what his name was? <laughs> no, they didn't. He's making he's, he's about to, he's about to invent something no, right uh, now. No, I'm not. I'm telling you, Macho Man Sandy Savage. Yo, get us out of here, man! This <laughs> Macho Man. <laughs> he was Macho Man Sandy Savage. Sandy Savage, not Randy. No, not Randy <laughs> Sandy because niggas used to grind on it. Come on, man. Dev used to get out on all fours, come attack me. <laughs> Debbie on all fours, come, come jump on, on my man. back. I bet you can't jump on my back and hold me down. <laughs> you can't take me down. I bet you can't jump on my back and hold me down. <laughs> they like, nobody can hold that nigga on the back. <laughs> he always gets it. He <laughs> rolled right over. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yo. Macho Man Sandy Savage. Macho Man Sandy Savage. Ooh, rip it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> and Dev used to always go to the wrestling matches with no rip draws. It. <laughs> <laughs> he wrestled with a gig with no draws. <laughs> We don't wear geese. It's actually a worse Ola. uniform. Yeah. Baby it's Ola. a way, way worse uniform than the geese. Right, yeah, no drawers. Baby Ola. Ola. He to, he, no, I went baby Ola. Right before, so right before the match, he'd be like, ooh, ribbon to a Slim Jim. they like, what? <laughs> slim Jim, I with this. I'm vegan. I don't eat a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we want to thank y'all for tuning in to me oh, and I was with the game every week, man. Got the captain of the wrestling team, <laughs> Dick Flair, right here. <laughs> and my man, my, Macho Man Sandy Savage. Yeah, my Savage. man right here, Gilly, AK, Gilly Body, body Check Kid. Yeah. Yeah, body, <laughs> body, <laughs> What's up, young boy? What's going on, like, For real. Hey, now, now. Hey, now, now. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, the last week when you was touching me when I had the leather on, pussy, you might have been body checking me. You kept touching me with the leather on. Wait a minute. Check. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. What? We skipped over something so major. That we gotta do before we let y'all go. What? Wallow said, and this is quoted screenshot, that if you was his celly in jail, what? That your innocence <laughs> would have been on the line. It'd have been in jeopardy. In no, jeopardy. no, no, but I said, no, 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 no. This is what I said, though. You would have raped your cousin? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, this was, this this was set no, in the internet, went in a frenzy. You would have raped your cousin? This is what I meant, though. Let me explain something what I meant. I said your innocence would have been in jeopardy because I would have sent somebody to the cell on you. Not I wouldn't have done that. 
I just sent somebody to the cell and just Ricky up. Minaj. So we go right. Said, so Ricky he, Minaj. He keeps proving he him. Out, say, no, he no. said Ricky. He had to say yo. Go get him. I just said, so himself. you did have staff yeah, no, no. members. So you did have people that worked under you. <laughs> no, his pimps. I mean, his hoes. Ricky Minaj and Heyanse. You'd have sent them for me. Go get that nigga. That's fucked up. No, I'm saying I just sent somebody my to my, the cell. The my fucking Heyanse would have came right to my cell and said, uh oh, 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 uh oh. Listen, 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 Deb. The vibe's so bootylicious for you, babe. You would have been like, come on in. Come on down. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Fuck us, you would have said. He didn't buy it. Out of here, he would have bought it. Out of here, body check it. Hey. Out of here, he I'd say with, a, with, a, with his own fucking song. <laughs> All I need in my life is sin. It's me and my girlfriend. It'd have been a fucking Ricky night. Minaj, Ricky, Minaj, Ricky, Ricky Minaj when he came to do a motorsport. <laughs> he was like, I, mean, I drive motorcycles out there. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stupid, man. Hey, we appreciate y'all for tapping in. We love the man y'all. Osworth for game, making us the fastest growing podcast in the world. Keep tuning in. Each and every week, we love y'all. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right!